Hi, this is Eric Stinson with Juniper's Product Marketing Team. And today I'm here with Aninda Chatterjee, one of our technical marketing engineers. Welcome, Aninda. Thank you, Eric. Uh, and what we're going to talk about is we've recently added in-service software updates to the QFX 5220. And Aninda is going to introduce that, kind of why we did it and, and why it's so better than the old way. Thanks, Eric. So yeah, 5220s are uh, a really common um, leaf that we're starting to see uh, from a deployment perspective. And typically uh, these data center leaves, you're going to have uh, servers, hosts connected behind them. In most common deployments, these servers would typically be dual homed. So that means they're going up to two leaves, but we also see quite often that it's just a single leaf that is connected to these servers, right? Now, from, a, from the perspective of trying to upgrade these leaves. Uh, it tends to be very intrusive if it's just a single leaf, because if you're trying to upgrade the OS on the leaf itself, you most likely have to bring the leaf down and the servers essentially are disconnected from the network, right? This is where ISSU kind of plugs in, where we're trying to do a non-disruptive upgrade and you're not losing your forwarding plane or the forwarding path and all of that is retained and the servers continue to talk through the network while the upgrade of the leaf is actually happening at the same time. Thanks, Anindo. That makes a lot of sense. Um, so just to, you know, now that we kind of know what it is and, and why we did it, could you talk a little bit about the ISSU process? Yep, absolutely. So. With the 5220s, um, we run Junos Evolved on the platform, and Junos Evolved is architecturally a little different from Junos. So from an architecture perspective, the daemons, like the RPD, essentially run as applications uh, on the platform. And these applications store their state in a distributed data store. Now, the really cool thing is all of these applications, or, or most of these applications are restartable and that's the key term here we use the restart capability of these applications and plug that into issu to achieve a non-disruptive upgrade of the box itself so when the applications restart they go back to that distributed data store to get their state back so it's it's like a snapshot that's stored in the data store itself which can always be pulled back once the applications restart now from a command perspective, it's really simple. It's just one command to do the ISSU itself. Uh, but I want to call it out because it can be a little confusing at times. So previously we would do request system in service upgrade and that was the typical way of doing ISSU or initiating ISSU on the platform itself. Now we've changed that a little bit to uh, plug in this key term called uh, restart. And the command now is going to be request system add and this is how you do a normal upgrade. But at the end of it, you add this term called restart, which essentially tells the box that you're restarting the applications and initiating ISSU. Well, thank you, Aninda. That sounds pretty simple and also sounds like a great benefit for uh, our data center customers. So I look forward to, to seeing that in action and I'm sure that our customers do as well. But thank you very thank much. You. I hope you have a great day. Thank you, Eric, you too.